this is Mr. Banco, and I'm going to do a quick run through of the desktop version of the parent portal. So what, what you're looking at right here on this screen is my parent portal for my daughter, Jonna, who's a student at the high school. Um, when you log in, if you have more than one student in the school district, this would say all students. And then you'd be able to click on this click on the drop down menu and it would list all the students that you have in all the schools of the district. Um, if you have more than one student, when you first log in, you're gonna, going to see messages for all of your students. This list is gonna be pretty substantial. Um, but this is since John is my only student, um, she comes up and then these are all of the messages I get for Jonna. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about uh, is oh, clicking on links in this. If you click on one of these links, it's going to open in this browser box typically. Um, and my suggestion to make this easy on yourself so you don't have to keep logging in and out of Skyward is to right click on the link. So this is the attendance link. Uh, I'm going to open the link in a new window. So it opens a brand new browser for me. And now I can go, I can fill in Jonna's attendance for the day press submit, and then whenever I'm done, I would just close this browser box, and now I'm back to my Skyward. Pretty simple. I can also do that if I wanted to open one of these French worksheets from Mrs. Sequoian. I would right-click on the link, and then open the link in a new window. So it opens a new browser box for me, but here's where my downloads are here in Firefox. I would click on the download, it opens in my Adobe Reader. So I can, I'll have that accessible even if I log off to log off of Skywards. So I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna go back to, back to my Skyward. So here I am. Um, another feature that um, you wanna be able to utilize is replying to a message. So here's Mrs. Sequoian. I sent Mrs. Sequoian a message a little earlier in the day, um, but if you look down here at this message here from Dr. Heppinger, there's a reply button. So if I click reply, it will open this box and I can just type in there, um, Thanks for, and then I would just press post. Now, this is kind of a meaningless um, example here, so I'm just gonna cancel that, cancel this one. Um, but I had sent Mrs. Sequoian a message a little earlier, um, and I just wrote, thanks for keeping John busy. Uh, and she replied back very quickly, within 10 minutes um, in French, but then, uh, she had given me a response. If I wanted to reply back to her, very simple, just press reply. Um, if there is no reply button, um, like there is in this message for Mr. Nee on the attendance, then you can't reply back to that message. Um, if you wanted to send a message to Mr. Nee, you would have to send him an email through the regular email system. Um, but as you can see, there are posts from a, a lot of different teachers, going down through here. As I read them, I can check them off the list. Um, if I want to just see the messages that I haven't read, I would click on this and it would show me all the messages that I still haven't checked in on. Um, okay, so a lot of the stuff that's over on here um, is really intended for when we are in regular school session. The one that you definitely want to keep an eye on is this grade book um, because as students are submitting work, the teachers will be checking that and you'll be able to go in there and check on student grades. Um, when you get a chance, um, and I know everybody's kind of busy, but if you could go and click on your account, there's a lot of personal information in here that you can check on, such as phone numbers and addresses, um, emergency contact information that you can add in there. And as long as we have that information, it really can be very helpful. Um, other than that, you wanna keep an eye on the calendar over here. Um, and if you have any questions, you can certainly message any of your child's 
teachers, um, or you can shoot me an email. It is jbanco at nkasd.com. I hope that this was helpful.